I'm Chris. And I'm Sarah. Come on in. We met in the summer of 2004. I was working at the church daycare. And I was closing the church gym down. Sarah came in, gave me her phone number, and told me to call her. I did, an hour later. We went on our first date on July 4th of 2004. And from there, our relationship grew. And in 2007, I finally got the nerve and asked her to marry me. On the day he proposed, he took me ring shopping, knowing he had the ring in his pocket the whole time. Gotta keep her on her toes. Finally, February 9th, 2008, we tied the knot. It was happily we ever after. after. Our family currently consists of Chris and I and our dog, Hershey. Hershey is a 13-year-old chocolate lab. She is one of the loves of my life, other than Sarah. She's like a daughter to me. She's a pretty lazy dog. She mostly just lays around the house. Yeah, what's wrong with that? So do I. Let me tell you a little bit about Chris. He is a very godly man and always makes sure to put God in the center of our family. He is selfless, generous, loving, and funny. He always can find a way to make me laugh, and even the hardest of times. This is one of the many reasons that I know he's going to be a great dad. Because no matter what is happening, he always finds a way to make us laugh. Chris is a very hard worker and loves his job. He loves watching the UT Longhorns on TV on Saturdays, and also loves going to Texas Ranger games. He loves hunting, shooting the, at the gun range with his friends, or spending just time with his guy friends. I know Chris is going to be an amazing dad and he is very excited to start this new adventure. And I cannot wait to see what the Lord has in store for him. And now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Sarah. There are many things I love about her. The first and foremost is her love for God. She's also committed to her family. She involves them in anything and everything we do. I've always been attracted to Sarah's smile, laughter, compassion, and kindness. When I am down and stressed out from work, she's always there to lift me up and help me find the good in things. She's a Disney fanatic and loves to go on Disney cruises. But again, Sarah's heart for our family and our friends are the biggest. We go to all the dance recitals, all the sports games for all the kids. It has always been Sarah's dream to become a mother. She was a preschool teacher, and when she worked in early childhood intervention, she loved every kid like they were her own. And I cannot think of a better person to be the mother of my child. We can't wait to start this adventure, and we can't wait to start a family. Now let us tell you a little bit about our traditions and our family. Our first tradition is Christmas. We love Christmas. We have trees in every room, and our home is decorated from floor to ceiling with all kinds of Christmas. We also love going to look at Christmas lights. We've done this for 14 years now. We take our nieces and nephews to a local nearby neighborhood. We can't wait to take our own child with us someday. Our next tradition is the Light the Night Walk. Yes, this is a Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Walk. This helps raise money for that. This is important to us because Sarah is a leukemia survivor. And our third tradition and most important is going to church every Sunday. We also do lunch every Sunday with a close family and friends, and all their kids. Can't wait to bring ours to that on Sunday as well. I have, an, I have a very large family. I have an older sister who is married with three kids and who's currently living in Pennsylvania. I have a younger brother who is married with three kids who are adopted. They live close by, and my parents, they live here as well, and we see them quite often. Me, on the other hand, I'm an only child. My mom lives close, my dad lives a few hours away. I do have some step brothers and sisters that aren't far, but most importantly, I have friends I've grown up with for years. They are my family, and they've helped me over the years with everything and anything you can imagine. And their kids, they're my nieces and nephews as well. Now let's talk a little bit about our home. Our home is a three bedroom, two bathroom house with a large backyard, just outside the big cities in a small, quiet neighborhood. We have a park close by and a walking trail that we enjoy going to, and we can't wait to take a child with us Sunday. We also have a small farmer's market in town that we enjoy going to on the weekends. Our city has lots of things for small kids to do in big events. They also just opened a big water park. We have some great neighbors that we can't wait to share a child with someday. 
and watch out for us, protect us, and even make us laugh. Sarah and I want to adopt for many reasons. First reason is we want to grow our family. We want to create a family. Second reason is we love nothing more than to become parents. Sarah, she's always wanted to become a mother. She mothers her little nieces and nephews around and enjoys it. Me too, I've, I've wanted to become a father for as long as I can think. Uh, I, I see my friends and I, I, my nieces and nephews as well. Um, we, uh, we couldn't have a, a baby conventionally, so uh, the Lord has left, led us to adoption uh, after many, many hours of prayer. Uh, we, we would prefer an open adoption, uh, but we'll take any relationship we can get. We look, nothing, we look forward to nothing more than creating relationships, friendships, and family. We want to thank you for watching our video and learning a little more about us. We are excited to start this journey with you. Please know that we are praying for you daily as you make the decision for what is best for you and your baby. Bye! Bye.